everyone. Welcome back to our second week with little Sable. She's officially nine weeks old and we've uh, been learning a lot about each other over this past week. Um, some big milestones that happened. Last week we showed you how she could sit and lay down. This week she's learning to leave things and to look at you on command. Um, so I'll show you that here in this video. We also figured out <laughs> one of her favorite chewing toys is. Um, kind of a bad habit that she developed this week was that she started to dig in our backyard. So we have to try to correct that. And I've been watching a couple other videos and we'll see what method works. And we'll be sure to share that with you next week because we're hoping to have the problem fixed by then. So she doesn't dig right under the little fence and get out. <laughs> Sable, come here. Good girl. So two kind of other bigger things that happened this week was I moved from sleeping downstairs near her playpen and crate that we showed you the last time. Um, I moved upstairs and I started using a baby monitor to be able to hear to see if she's crying in the middle of the night. If she is, I give her a couple minutes. If she doesn't calm down, I go downstairs and let her out. And usually she goes to the bathroom. Actually, 10 out of 10 times she goes to the bathroom. So she's doing a really great job of letting us know when she needs to go outside. She also actually started going to the back door whenever she has the urge inside. So the potty training thing's going pretty well. Something that didn't go so well this week um, was bath time. Bath time really, she didn't like it very much, even though she's a toller and she's supposed to be a water dog. So hopefully uh, it's just with the shower. She was a little scared of that. Um, but we made it through, got her clean, and hopefully we'll only be improving from here on out with the shower experience. Sable also experienced her first rainstorm here, and um, her nice uncle Drew got her a little rain jacket that she's been wearing outside, so we'll be sure to include that footage at the end of this, because just imagine this cute little face in a yellow rain jacket. Look at me. Yes! Ready? Up. Look at me. Yes! Good girl. So that's our look at me command. She's doing really well. The importance of that, you okay? You okay? The importance of that command is uh, to make sure that you can always get her attention so you can give her her next command. Look at me, lay down. Yes, just like that. The next command that we'll show you, and I don't know if she'll be able to do it with this uh, thing. She really loves this thing. In fact, she's tried to bury it a couple times in our house, which is hilarious. Um, but we'll, we'll give it a try. It's called leave it. So we'll get her going on it. Now there are two ways to do leave it. And one of the first ways that we've been doing it is when she's chewing on a toy, we'll say, we'll make the toy really boring. We'll say, leave it. She'll drop it out of her mouth or let go. You say yes, and then you make it really exciting. So let's see if we can do that with this. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. I know this tastes so good. It's so confusing because that's a treat and not a toy. Let's try it with a toy. Yes. Get it, get it, get it, get it. She loves this crinkly little guy. Ready? Leave it, leave it, leave it. Yes! <laughs> yes! She's really getting good at the tug of war, too. Good girl. Ready? Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Leave it, leave it. Leave it, leave it. Yes! I know it doesn't look like much right now, but she's nine weeks old, and that's a step in the right direction to getting her to actually leave things. Let's try it one more time. Ready? Oh, get it. Ready? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Yes! Haha, <laughs> yes! What the puppy? All right, now we'll try it with a treat. I'm gonna get one of these. Sable, you ready? Sable. Oh no, I've got her interest in the toy. Hey. Hey. Sit. Sit. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Ready? Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Yes! Good girl. Good girl. Ready? Crate, crate, crate. Yes. Now watch. Get your here. 
So we're associating the great with something positive, like the treat. And she's not allowed to come out. Oh, there's another one of her bad habits. Uh, tell us if your toller does that. Now she knows she's not allowed to come out of the crate until she sits down, doesn't whine, and I tell her break. Oh, good. <sighs> you decide to move the, uh, the water into the crate enclosure as compared to in the pen um, to try to get her more comfortable with the crate because right now she's totally sleeping in the pen. And we'd like the crate to be kind of her more permanent sleeping home, but we'll see. Now watch. Would you like to come out? You can sit. Now she knows she can't come out until I say break. If she starts to come out, I'll just shut the door a little bit. Up, up, up. Back in. Back in. Sit. Sable, sit. Sable, sit. Break. Good girl. There's a oh, you missed it. You missed it. It's right here. It's because your paws are all wet. I'm playing in your water. So uh, thanks again for watching. Um, be sure to check back next week when we're 10 weeks old. That's double digits. Um, we'll give you an update on the digging situation, the gnawing situation, the let go, leave it, leave it, situation, and uh, any other updates. So be sure to like and share and subscribe if you can. We really appreciate it. See, see you next week, Sable. See you next week. Bye-bye.